switch over to his. Hey, so we're, we're live. live. Okay. Live in two places at once. Cool. This is weird. That is very weird. All right. So, hey, we're going to head over to Indiana Diesel. So, if you want to go check us out, we'll be on here for about an hour tonight answering questions just like here. So, I'm going to sign off and we'll be over on Indiana Diesel. That's Tyler's channel. Way to go. Sorry. Got this. And. All right. Don't touch my phone this time because you're really good at shutting it off. I, I am. Your camera view is definitely different than mine. And it's fine. We're both being frame here. Look at that. We already have people jumping over. All right. So we have 339 on mine. Hopefully we'll get, get that, a good number. We're not going to have 339 on mine. <laughs> I, I, it a few people might make it over. All right. It says very, like I said, very pixelated. Is it? Is it not good quality? I have the range booster on. Uh, yeah, but you have AT and T, not Verizon. So if this is really bad, okay, it's getting better now. They said. Okay, let us know if it is bad. I'll let them switch over to my Verizon phone, and we can we can do live on my Verizon phone. Or we can turn the Wi-Fi on through your Verizon. I go Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, we could do that. Good quality. We're good. Okay. All right. Let us know though if it if it gets bad. Let us know. Okay, um, so Tyler just posted a video that you've not seen yet. It, it, did you it's still rendering. Oh, it's still rendering. It's all uploaded, but it's still rendering it. Okay, all right. So if you didn't get a chance to see mine, we uh, we went for the we finally got the test drive done today. Um, we were really scared at first because we first thing we did is we jacked up the right wheel and said we're going to test the clutch. So we're gonna he's going to start it. He's going to put it in gear, let the clutch out, get the wheels to spin. If he slams on the brakes. A, that's a brake test because the wheel will stop spinning, but it should kill the engine too if the clutch is good. And he did all that. The tires stopped, but the engine didn't. <laughs> it just kept running with the clutch. So I was like, oh, yeah, no. That was not a good So moment. we messed with it for a little bit, and then we jacked the other side up, and uh, we had success. It worked. And then every time I was in, in the lot, it, it took off good. It had good power. Uh, it stopped real well. Um so I think if something was just slipping in there to begin with, or maybe, I don't know, but we got it going. Hey, look at that, Tyler. More for the swear. I needed it after today. There was a few times today where the swear jar got expensive. <laughs> really expensive. It was, uh, there was a couple of those moments there. It was. Do you have that on the, on your video of him signing, marking yes. off the thing? That, yeah, there'll be a couple of swear words on that too. It's pretty funny. More of them are written than said. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you for the donation form though. Uh, it was a good day. We, I mean, we're definitely smiling today. Um, that was a, a lot After of work. After everything this bus put us through, just to see it move under its own power. Yeah. Hey, if you're going to ask questions, please do them in all capital letters. That will make it much easier for us to scroll through and find them. In a couple minutes, we'll start going through and answering questions. Um, yeah, we're just excited. I mean, the bus was a little smoky at first, but that is, honestly, that's the first time that bus has been driven in it, decades. It, I don't know. I think it hasn't been driven my entire lifetime. Probably, but yeah. The thumbnail for his video is not photoshopped. It actually smoked that much. <laughs> it was. I'll see it in the video. They all do that when they sit for a long time like that. They're gonna smoke, and and we've only had it idling here. We <coughs> never had it under load. And once you do that, they smoke. But they it clears up by the end of the video. That thing is doing really, really good. And do you want to pull the string up on yours so we can read comments off your phone? Oh, I could try to do that. Yes. It's negative ground. Whether it is or was or is, it's negative ground now. It is now. <laughs> I haven't hooked the up yet to see what it's going to do, but it's negative ground now. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. You go view the live stream. i got to find you. No, you talk, don't. Talk to him once then. Hang on. i got to fix this for him. <laughs> okay. You keep talking. I'm going to... Uh, computer illiterate here. Okay. So that's what I was just on. No, you, I know, but you go to your subscriptions. Okay. Lives are pinned up top. Oh, so didn't know that. Right. Oh, they've turned down. <laughs> i got to... Top. <laughs> okay. I paused it. Don't hit play. I don't know how to make your phone be quiet. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't get snippy with me. Okay. Um, questions. I think mom's coming to help because we're incapable. You two are sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's still coming in good, right? Hopefully. Did it get better? It's not pixelated or anything? It's better. Okay. Uh, let's see, we got a question. Is that GMC 640 still for sale? Put a box on it. I use it for a work truck. I have no idea. They're wanting me to get that truck that you fixed. Oh. Um. I don't have the parking space right now. 
Oh, well, thank you very much, Eric. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> what is he, did he have a question there, too? No, he, he just said buy more tools. Oh, man. Look That's at you. Awesome. What are you going to buy? What are you going to do with your 50 bucks? Uh, so, Milwaukee has the new M12 cordless die grinder, 90 degree angle one, like you put your Rolock discs on. That's even less stuff I need to use my air compressor for. And yeah, that's a service cool. truck. I'm trying to get to the point where I need zero air tools on the service truck because compressor takes up way too much room. Uh, Matt says he's in tire buying mode. What do you recommend bang for the buck? What are we getting tires for? A big truck? Yeah, like a bus or something? Or um, I got my rear tires just off Amazon. They were really cheap. Uh, so far, I've been happy with them. <laughs> I mean, I, most of my stuff, I usually run good years on my truck. But uh, I've got Firestone Transforces on the shop truck and then some Michelins and some others. The shop truck wasn't deserving of new oh, tires. No, I live in the part sorry. of town where there are used tire shops. <laughs> so there are a lot of used tires in the shop truck. But uh, I always just shop around for the specs I'm looking for, the you know speed rating, weight rating, all that stuff. And I look around there and anything that's not Michelin I'll probably buy. Uh, this person's asking, uh, have you ever worked on or know of any bus that has been in a movie? He used to own a bus that was in a movie. Yes. Work on all kinds of buses. Lance's bus, too. Oh, yeah. That was just in the Patsy and Loretta movie. Uh, Miss Budweiser. Um, hey, guys, are you going to purchase a plasma car? Did somebody just ask that? Yeah. That's Probably not that not. same guy, right? Okay, no. he's allowed to because say I that. Because I will kick him off Tyler's channel, too. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that dude. <laughs> this this bottle's got like water in it now. I had hot chocolate in it for most of the day. My water now tastes like hot chocolate. Yeah, it's weird. I'm gonna watch the Colts game tonight. I didn't even know. I haven't been able to watch any football this year. I've not watched one single Colts game. I've watched one game this year. It was last week. Oh yeah, the. the I suffered through almost that entire game, and then I went to bed, and then there was a fight, and I was so the, mad at The Steelers-Browns game, yeah, he watched the whole thing, but the, the, he stopped watching right before the end. Yeah, he, he right missed. before the end, I'm like, this game sucks, it's not worth any more of my night, I <laughs> shut the TV off, I decided I was going to go do something else, I wake up the next morning, I found out there was a fight, I'm like, really? I sat through that entire game to miss that. <clears throat> Will you ever build a train? Yeah? Do you have a train I can build? <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, do you see that Stu got his 471 back? I did see it, but I've not actually watched the video yet. I've been way too busy. This bus has kind of been kicking our ass. By the time we're done, it's time to go to bed. Yeah, did it turn out to be positive or negative ground? We still don't actually know the question to that, but we talked to Gene because it has an alternator on it. We're going with the assumption that it is a negative ground, and that's why we have it hooked up. We're, we're just getting ready to test the alternator on it now, though. Do you need an alternator for a test drive? Nope. Didn't feel anything weird with the rear end? <laughs> no weird noises. <laughs> no. No weird nothing. <laughs> it felt tight. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, when are you going to take it out on the road? Um, Probably Saturday when we leave for Indianapolis. Yeah. we got, I mean, we, there's no ta tail lights, brake lights, turn signals, none of that stuff yet. So, what was that? A notification from Facebook oh. Messenger? Okay. Sorry. Everyone's going to send me messages when I'm doing a live stream. How many hours do you think you'll have in this job? I don't know. I don't know what my build hours are. But I don't yeah, know I have no idea. Are. I don't remember how many hours we had last time either. Um, it's been less than two weeks, though, right? Because we were only like a week and a half last time. and then I think we were a week last time. Were we? Okay. Yeah. 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 So About a week I and mean, a half. considering what we had to do with that motor, that motor mount is what really put us behind schedule. If we wouldn't have had that to screw with, this thing would have been on the road back home already last time. I don't know. It's about that just took a few extra days. And, months bills. That's, that's you know, it felt do. really good to have that thing flying around that parking lot today, um, especially with all the people like, oh, that thing needs to go to the scrapper and that yeah. kind of shit. No, there are so many times where I was wondering if we were going to be able to drive it out of here, or if it was going to have to get towed out of here and you know fixed somewhere else. Because if that engine would have to come all the way out, or if we had to put a clutch in it, put doing a clutch on a mix of gravel and mud just isn't going to really be an option. We got it done. No problems. Yeah. You'll get out of here. It's going to make it home. I, I'm confident enough by the way that it drove for me in that parking lot. i tell you what I did to it is is good to go. If not, I'm following him all the way back. So <clears throat> either have to have dad come follow and meet us or I'll have to go back to India and get my truck and come back. Um, all right. Let's see what this says. I saw plasma cut. There was... <laughs> You guys both look like you need a plasma cutter. 
Uh, what are my thoughts on a DT-466, the mechanical version, from Nomadic Tech? Um, I don't mind DT-466s. They're not terrible. I haven't done a whole lot of work on them, other than just maintenance work. The biggest thing I've done on them is oil coolers that like to uh, start pushing coolant and, or oil into the coolant. Um, I hate the radiator charge air cooler <laughs> setups in the... Uh, <laughs> Like 4,700 or whatever the nationals on. are stacked not, side by side, motor, so it's like two thirds radiator and one third CAC. I hate that cooling pack. But that's not necessarily related to the engine, that's a chassis setup. Okay, uh, this guy's asking how's the oil consumption on Lenny with the 671 from the break in miles on it? Um, I am less than a quart every thousand miles, and most of that is leaking. So I don't think I'm really using any oil whatsoever. Nothing is coming out of the slobber tubes. Nothing. At I all. just saw someone ask, why is the transmission shifting difficult in the pre-war? Because they're air shifted. It's totally different. Yeah, it's it's, it's still on the a, column, but it's not a mechanical linkage like that. And it's in a different position. It feels different, and you got to kind of wait between the gears. Like mine, if you've moved it, it's there because it's mechanical. This one, there's a there's a delay in everything. And you got to go slow on the pre-war. So. It's very weird. And especially because I'm, maybe it's probably harder for me because I'm used to driving something that's the same but totally different, if that makes sense. The pedals are also weird. The first thing he did is press the brake and the throttle to the floor. I did. When he got the in very it. very first thing. <laughs> I went to mash on the brake hard and I nailed those pedals. are ridiculous. I can't wear those giant freaking boots. And Sage has like size. What size <coughs> boots does he say he wears? I don't know. 13 or something like that. He's going to be a big trouble. <laughs> He's got to drive that thing barefoot. I drive everything barefoot. Except my motorcycle, that hurts. Uh, Tim Miller would like to make new parts for the radiator hoses fittings in Ohio. I'm, I'm not sure what he's... He's probably talking about those couplers that we had to cut up and make. Yeah, that would be nice if we could do something different, but that, I mean, those those should work. I, I have been thinking that I would like to possibly remake a set of those. Make my own. Then I can hard to make just a flange that we can punch out on the Prada and then weld tubing to it. Yeah, my bus is going to need a little bit of work. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a little bit of an opinion seal leak on there. So I climbed. Oh, that's what we're talking we about. We climbed under there to fix. Uh, I, would, I was going to. We had leftover rear end fluid, so I was going to just top it off. It was only down a little bit. I was surprised because it made kind of a mess back there on my muffler. Um, but meanwhile, I looked at my airbag mounts, and there's a problem with it. So we're going to have to pull the tires off here tomorrow when we're done working on Sage's bus. Not related to what Chris did. It's our fault. Nothing to do with Chris. The top mount, which needed to get bolted in. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, what area of Texas will you be visiting? I have no idea. Do you know where we go through in Texas? Um, I can pull it up and tell you. She'll look it up. Did you just get another super chat? Yes, someone said, ever consider a 3D printer and casting your own parts. Uh, I'd like a 3D printer. They're expensive, but there's a lot of things that I'd like to be able to make with one. As far as casting my own parts, I have done some casting work at home. I'd love to actually get setups where I can cast stuff. Probably nothing for parts, just screw around and make stuff. Okay, you ready for the Texas? Yes. On your schedule, if they're not, uh, <coughs> we haven't talked to all the people yet, but we have Seabrook, two in Houston, and one in McFadden. Seabrook, Houston, and McFadden is where I'll be in Texas. And anywhere between those spots. And, and, and then driving in between. Yep. Uh, remember, if you're typing a question, please do it in all capitals. It makes it much easier for me to find them. I'm actually not even looking at things that aren't in caps. And so, if you haven't got to your question yet, don't start retyping yet. We are working our way through. Yeah, I'm working. I'm way behind. I'm only I'm about 10 minutes behind. Um, but if you did type it not in caps, you might want to go back and redo it. <laughs> Concerned about an engine being smoky? No, not at all. They, it, that's when it's been sitting for a long time. That's completely normal. Um, this tire is going to be service bus number two with tools and equipment? Probably. <laughs> Everything I own is a service truck. Um, I noticed you use green coolant in this bus. Does that stop Does that stop cavitation? If so, uh, what was it? Well, yeah, we in a 71 series, you can use a regular green coolant, so you're fine with that. Um, we just used from Rural King, whatever the yeah. cheap stuff was. Uh, 92 series are the ones you need to watch out for. You need to use the heavy duty industrial coolants. When can you expect to see Tyler's bus? When we get there. It's that's two stops away, three stops away. So Yeah. Week and a half, two weeks, something like that probably. No, maybe longer. Three weeks. 
I forgot that one's gonna be a longer stop. The uh, one in North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a project. What's next at Lance's place? Yeah. Uh, if I get a chance, I'm gonna stop at one thing. Uh, it's working at 4104 that's been sitting for 20, what you say, 28 years? Mm -hmm. And see if I can get that thing going. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have time to really mess with that very much, though. Well, we're supposed to be at Lance's on Monday, right? Yes. So it would give me Sunday to do that. Saturday, if you guys leave, Saturday morning, and then I could go there Saturday, working on part of the day Saturday, part of the day Sunday, and then it's go to Lance's. It's supposed to rain. We'll see. Um, if that's the case, I might just meet you at Lance's then. Yeah, I figured that. We'll see how it okay. goes. Um, nothing for questions. Sorry. Was the transmission shifting as difficult as the pre-war in Minneapolis? Sorry, like, the I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Like my leg is cramping up. I probably because I didn't drink enough today. Um, it, yeah, it's just the same thing. But I'm obviously I've driven that one now, so I understand it a little bit better. So I didn't grind it too much today. Um, really, the only time I ground ground it that big time was I was trying to hit second from going really slow in first. I was just trying to see if it would work, and I, I should have sped it up some more. I didn't want to go that fast in that gravel. Uh, and then you ended up in third. It didn't It didn't take me very long to get comfortable with going fast in the gravel. It's got new tires. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's got new tires on it. It's going to have new brakes. It's All new wheel really bearings. Though. They're even tight. Oh, how did I get way back here? Or did somebody ask this question twice? I'm so sorry. Somebody must have asked the same question twice. Sorry. Um... Proco products make the flange expansion joints. Yeah, I've not seen them, and I've never been able to find the exact same things. How soon will the be uh, the GMC Cracker Box? That's gonna be after Lance, so after Thanksgiving. It'll be after Thanksgiving, probably right after Thanksgiving. Uh, when are you going to Jing Russell shop? And that's that's gonna be after. That's gonna be while we're in North Carolina after we get Tyler's bus. So. You're looking about a month away. That'll be the week before Christmas or two weeks before Christmas at the earliest, I think. Yeah, right now the only definite thing on this whole trip is we kind of. How about a lathe on the other bus? Damn, people want us to carry all kinds of damn tools. I want a lathe, but I don't think it's gonna fit in the bus. <laughs> I know the one I want won't fit in there. <laughs> if I got the mill and the lathe that I want, it'd fill up half my garage right now. Oh. And that's not even CNC stuff. That is all mechanical. Old man stuff. issues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is Tyler's bus coming from Brent? Yes, it is. If you know Brent, um, maybe, possibly. Yes, nothing's definite yet. That is true. Uh, this one's for Miss Kelly. Where in Arizona will you be stopping at? <laughs> I already looked. I saw that question. Um, you did not tell me where in Arizona. It's Juan, um, Jillo, or however you say it. Yeah. Um, you just told me Arizona, so I don't Okay, yeah, I got to get a hold of Juan and figure out. Um, you told me there was somebody else, too, but you didn't tell me the name or where at. Okay, yeah, I don't remember where he lives at. I was thinking it was the Phoenix area, but I could be completely wrong, so I'll have to look it up. When we were telling people the wrong place in North Carolina for like three weeks. Too. I was telling them the wrong place in North Carolina. That's we are, my problem. <laughs> we are going to be in Al Albemarle, uh, Albemarle, North Carolina is where we're going to be. I'm glad you tried that, not me. It just sounds weird, no matter how I say it. Um, I, I don't know what I'm reading here. You can... You know, <laughs> Is Tyler going to make uh, twin turbo his bus? Why well, only two? And There's six cylinders. We do six turbos. Yeah. He's an idiot. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll go with the big single, like 108. Someone's asking if you're going to have a special video on Tyler's bus. Of course we will. Um, is that bus shifting okay? I thought I heard some grinding. You're apparently a smart ass. Um, it yeah. shifts just fine. It shifts wait, a little bit like taking, getting Wait until you see my video with the in bus video yeah <laughs> there's a little bit just, just a little uh did you get the heater fixed not in my bus no we have not i haven't even messed with the propane one so we, we have electric right now we're okay we're not freezing to death here 
I mean, in a couple days, we won't even really need it. I'll tell you it. what, though. I really regret not putting in-floor heating in. I wish this floor was warm. That would be so nice. So if any of you are doing a conversion on the bus, I definitely highly, highly recommend you put in-floor heating down. You will. So if I don't put in-floor heating, you're going to... Like beat me over the head. Not gonna beat you over the head, but man, would it be comfortable if my tootsies were warm right now? I would be very happy. They're not. Did you just get another super chat? Yeah. Passed on the underwater forty one oh six. I don't know what he. What does it say? say? Oh. Hey guys, passed on the underwater forty one oh six snorkel. Oh, he sent me a picture of a bus that had the worst GM conversion thing I've ever seen in my life. Or it literally had an air intake that went up the back in a tube that looked like a periscope that ran up the back. Oh, Kelly got slippers for me. She's putting them on my feet right now. Nice. That's love right there. Okay. Thank you, baby. You're <laughs> uh, somebody oh, call anyway. and tell them it's live. Uh, thanks, Matt, for the super chat there. I appreciate it. Oh, sorry. Was there a question with that or anything? No, or? that's the one about the passing on the snorkel. Oh, okay. But I didn't say thank you. Hopefully I didn't skip any of those. Um, I don't think you did. Any plans to come to Central Florida? Um, oh, that's Steve. He's got a 4103. I'll let you know. Yeah, we'll be down there, but it won't, it's probably going to be March or April this year before we make it to Florida. We'll, we'll see. That, that's, we're not missing Florida. That's, we're going to make it. We will be in Florida this year. We're definitely going to go down to visit Sean and everybody down there. I mean, at this point, you guys live in Florida for like half the year. Yeah, we'll, you know, we'll visit Staples and... Um, Frank, you need to do some stuff on Frank's bus. Sorry to get back with you about that stuff later. Okay. I think you needed airbags on the front. I think it's been a while since I looked at it. Uh, if you had to pick between an 871T and a silver 8V92, which would you pick and why? 71 series. I mean, I could make a lot more power with the 92. Well, not a lot more. I could make more power with the 92, but I like the 71s better. I never have to worry about uh, the minor O-rings. Yeah, bad for me, it. I would if, if the, it was like a fresh rebuild on the '92, then I would be all for it. Or if it was within like the last five years or so, just. But if it's <laughs> something that's been sitting for 20 years, when the O-rings are getting old and stuff like that, I just don't want to have to go through that that mess with that. I'd still just rather do the '71. I like the '71s. Honestly, though, 671 in line. Those bottom ends are really beefy. Uh, what in in whore, in whore, <laughs> in floor eating? What's on your mind? I don't know, baby. <laughs> the electric or hydronic. Um, I have friends that have both. And uh, electric would would be nice when you're plugged in a lot of times places. But if you're boondocking and stuff like that and you have a Wabasto where you're heating and you've got the, the height to do that, the water would probably definitely be the way to go. Uh, a nice water heating type system like that that you could run through everything, use your preheat and your water heater and all that stuff with a Wabasto or, or a Aqua Hot or something. That's that's you really the way to go. Do expensive Aqua Hots are, though? Yep, I do. That's why I don't have one. Exactly. I ain't touching that. Um, 4104 that's been sitting for 17 years. Should I use an electric pump to prime the fuel system? Will the mechanical pump draw fuel? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can... It's not... It's... You can use a mechanical pump. I just like to today when I did it too, I just use the garden sprayer again. That works fine like that. Uh, the first thing you want to do though is make sure that the rack is moving and then bar the engine over a couple of revolutions and make sure the rack is still moving after that. That's when you find out if you have a stuck injector. If you just move it and it moves and you go start it, it's gonna you're gonna have a problem. And uh, you probably have stuck injectors in it. Uh, LOL root beer float, just watch Tyler's video. <laughs> yeah, that, that fuel, yeah, that was some nasty stuff. It was bad. I haven't seen his video, so I don't know. I see how it is. Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to read questions. Well, someone uh, asked if I will drive Lenny once the power steering is installed. Yes, but you are not videoing it. <laughs> Aww. Nope. I'm not going to do it. She will drive it once we get power steering on it. That's good. Um... Is Tyler's proposed bus a rescue project? Yes. Yeah, it's not been on the road in a long time. Um, I think it got hauled in on a on a low boy. I don't think it drove there. Do they make heated rugs and floor mats? They probably do. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, how many miles is it back to Indy? I think I've seen that question. 300. 300, 300 miles. 300 miles. Uh, what happened when you were checking the engine and the clutch didn't shut it down on the first try? <laughs> long story. Yeah. <laughs> 
The um, brakes on that side suck. Yeah, well, yeah, but the wheels did stop that one time. They were stopped. It should have not been running. I, I do not know what happened. Um, we just worked on it and checked things over, and then it was working. So it might have just been... Hey, Sage is here. It wasn't happy for a little bit. Now we got to watch what we say. He, did, he didn't get nearly as dirty today as he did yesterday. No, well, that hose exploded. Oh, he got, the, he got the gear oil bath. I forgot about that. Luckily, it was just his arm. <laughs> Pumping gear oil on the end of the hose shot right off of it. Uh, this person said they're going to be able to help in North Carolina. What's the best way to contact you? Um, probably just send us a text that when we're there, pay attention to when we're in the area or whatever, and just send me a text. Um, my number's on the end of a bunch of my videos, or Tyler has a number that's on the end of his videos. Yeah, that's my shop phone. You so can text you, it anytime. Uh, you might get a text back from a completely different phone number because my shop phone is a flip phone. I just have it for the number, but I'll text you back from my phone or something. Uh, where did the idea of the name Brutus come from? Have you seen the front of these things? Why not? Yeah, it looks like a Brutus. Although I might still Sage's Buzz's name if he doesn't take it. Oh, yeah. You can't say it now, though. <laughs> I, can't, um, I can't go on the video. You have to... Uh, hey, Tyler Scott, did today go as you had hoped for? Better. Went better than you hoped for? It drove today. Yeah, I expected it to be driving today. <laughs> it went exactly... If you would have asked me... Exactly, exactly as how I expected. If you would have asked me what I thought was going to happen right about the time that thing didn't stall when I hit the brakes... <laughs> <laughs> I saw the look on your face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's left on Sage's butt? Just electrical stuff to get it ready for... Uh, right now, electrical and safety stuff to get it ready for the road. That's all. Yeah. If it wasn't going to be raining tomorrow, it'd be like a half day, but the rain's probably going to make it a full day project, so Saturday morning we'll be on the road. <laughs> is Tyler going on the road with you full time? Uh, no, he's not, but this this month he is. <laughs> yeah. I don't have anything else to do. Shop gets slow this time of the year. And my... Big customers are construction companies for their equipment and stuff, so they're not doing anything. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not even 8 o'clock yet. I know. How many? You have 238 people in your chat, don't you? 241. 241. Wow. Not bad. But only 44 likes. What the hell, guys? <laughs> Hit the like button. Don't make Tyler mad. Um, when you be going on to your next next project i'm leaving hopefully tomorrow this bus will will get everything done tomorrow on this bus and then saturday morning i'll see them off probably is the way to go uh they're not gonna drive that bus at night um so we need to leave it like sun up yeah well they'll leave it sun up that way they have a good time to get there and it'll be a saturday so you shouldn't have bad traffic yeah, tyler get ready at sun up is that why i was laughing over there i'll just be up for the night before <laughs> yeah. i don't do mornings i go to bed at like 5 a.m <laughs> He does not do mornings. <laughs> that, Every, everyone here starts at 9 a.m. I start at 9.30 because they wake me up at 9. That is no lie. Um, we start before 9 trying to wake you. Yeah, the rear end shrapnel could be from a previous build. There is no way that's from a previous build. Because who would leave that in there? That that all that gets that comes out <laughs> when they're... That, that is not enough. I've never left the chunks in the diff just for the next guy to laugh that, at. That is a... Very optimistic, hopeful thing that is not ever going to be true. <laughs> Maybe somebody just dropped those in there when they were filling the oil. Just, <laughs> just screw with us. Yeah, let me throw a few of these chunks down here. Scare the next guy. I have done something similar, though. When... <laughs> so, when you have an apprentice and this is their first time building an engine, doing uh, building a transmission, something like that, I'll always go grab like two or three extra bolts out of my spare bolt spin <laughs> and put them on their workbench. I'll put an extra clutch or... Uh, clutch or friction disc or a steel or something down on their workbench or you, you're you so mean put a torrington bearing if you put a torrington bearing right about the time someone's dropping the pump in oh it's a great time <laughs> you only do it to your apprentice yeah i don't have apprentices see yeah, apprentices it's a great way to screw with them because then you gotta ask them did you put it all back together right and they should be able to answer yes if they know they did the job right <laughs> if you question it then obviously you don't, can't trust your apprentice so, kelly get a taser he'll be up <laughs> that would be mean I haven't been tased in a while. Speaking of tasers, I don't know if I... Did I mention this on a live stream before? That I was working on a bus. I, I was in uh, Iowa. This was just before we went out to Burning Man. And the client gave me a flashlight. And I was using his flashlight. And I turned his flashlight off. And I was crawled up over the engine in an eagle. And I'm like twisted, all contorted in there. And then I 
pick up the flashlight to turn on so I could see what I'm doing, and the flashlight's going zap, 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 zap. And luckily, it wasn't touching me. He's like, oh, be careful. That's a taser, too. I'm like, holy shit. Who gives somebody a flashlight to use and doesn't mention to them that it's a taser? Oh, that's awesome. I'm like, thank God I didn't have it, like, up against my skin. That would have really sucked, tasing myself. I'm not, yeah. I can't do tasers. They hurt. That was crazy. Um, is Tyler vegan? Or does no. Kelly cook meat and potatoes for him? <laughs> he is not vegan. He won't eat a vegetable practically just, unless it's a potato to save his life. I do like potatoes. potatoes <laughs> That's about it. Tonight she made him pizza, regular pizza, real cheese for him, and yeah, pepperoni. pepperoni on it. So I did have vegan uh, chicken noodle soup for lunch, though. He did. It was good. It tasted just like regular. It was delicious, right? I mean, there were carrots. I'm not kind of carrots. That was the only thing he didn't like was carrots. And they were tiny little carrots. I can't call them carrots. It does not matter. There were carrots in it. <laughs> there were orange, little tiny orange chunks in it that he didn't... <laughs> Uh, I thought you were Mario Andretti going around the garage today. I was. I was having fun. We thought about timing to see if we cut the fast slap around the shop, but then we realized it's not our building. I was going to set some speed records in that thing. I was getting, the more I was going, the faster I was getting. I, I was getting more comfortable with it. I guess I'm you were scaring me. Cameras later. I, was, I think I scared that neighbor guy. I think he walked a little fast away from his mailbox that first time we went by. <laughs> Uh, no, all you need is a bag of marbles in the freezer. You can't roll away from them. I don't know what that's about. Sorry. Um, hourly, hourly rate doubles when tased. Yeah. <laughs> so his, Tyler's no worries. I'm the same way with food. No veggies. Has Tyler tried the fake veggie meat. Uh, he had today. He had chicken that wasn't really chicken that was in his chicken. I was gonna say soup. I don't hate veggies though, because like the spring rolls, the Thai place, yeah. they're awesome. Pad Thai, awesome. But if you just like steam or boil or put something in front of me and it doesn't taste like, I mean, it tastes like dirt. I don't, I don't <laughs> want that shit. <laughs> no, it tastes like dirt. Uh, this person said they had the flashlight taser go off in their pocket twice. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I blame you. I am, we are so tired. Uh, it's been a stressful trip too, it, it, but I'm I'm happy that the bus got where it's at today. I I'm I feel real confident with it. Um, yeah, it did, it was cold today too. It, that's you know I don't know what it was. It was in the 40s out there I think. No, no, it was in the 50s. Was it? Yeah. In the 50s. It didn't feel like Never it. Never felt yes. like it because it was Yesterday cloudy. Yesterday felt warmer and rainy. It got a, it's 55 here right now. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Oh, I guess it, it is 55 right now. No way. Here? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. It's what it says. Oh, maybe but then it's warmer out now than it was earlier. Um, the silver sides had some stop signs on the rear. Is there a reason for that? I don't know why they have that, but they, uh, they're like, as far as I know, they're the first vehicles that ever had those like third stop lights in them. Um, just for visibility, maybe. Do they sell new old stock wiring harnesses? No, they don't. They are a cloth wrapped plier. Yeah. No, Actually, they're... tomorrow I'll show a close up of the one wire that for the emergency shutdown. Oh, he, he went to test the switch for that today. I'm like, I guarantee you that's not going to work because the wire was it, all the. The coating is off of it. It's just so it's just strands of wire all over the place, laying on different parts of the metal. It's bad. It's definitely grounded out nine times in the, the six feet that I saw it. I'm surprised there wasn't sparking in the dash when I hit the button. Um, is Tyler forced to sleep outside? No, he gets to sleep. I have a couch. I'm good. The swear jar is filling up on Tyler's sight. <laughs> I don't think you guys realize how quick I can go through a swear jar. <laughs> yes. I have to behave on here with what I say. Uh, do you wish you could have brought bought that bus that went to Greyhound Museum for Stoplight and Jake? Um, my Jakes are in, by the way. They're at my house. Uh, Tyler, well, he's not going to pick them up. Uh, so after Christmas, I'll get them put on. So before I head out to California, I will definitely have the Jakes on. I'll bring your, your 360 camera, but I'm not bringing the No, Jakes. that's all right, Lance's. It got shipped. Oh. It got delivered. So REI sent out that 360 camera. It is at Lance's. Lance sent me pictures of the boxes today. That's going to be fun. I call dibs on inside. Here. <laughs> Someone asked, will 
uh, it go to the right. We know it goes to the left. We don't know. We've it's actually never tried right. taking a right turn. I, um, you did a little. I had to turn right to get over to here. Only a little bit. It turns. It works. <laughs> How many buses have you saved from the crusher? A lot. I don't know. Twenty years. Even more, if you think about people that watch my videos and then have use some of that information to, to go out there and save their own too. Uh, is it known who has the oldest VIN, oldest bus? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, between Taylor, the, these pre-war ones are really, really old and there's not too many of them, but there are some, there's one that's fully restored. That's super nice. Uh, there's another one I just saw for sale for like 150,000 bucks. That was really nice too. That wasn't a pre-war though, was it? It was a pre-war. That was a pre-war? Yep. Is that the blue one? Yes. Um, Are you trying to say the pledge or something over there? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Can you see that on the camera? I, I don't see that. I, it stops like right at my shirt collar. Is it, is it show more than that on the for real? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice job. Uh, where is the motor in the old KW bus you showed us? Under the floor in the middle. It's in the middle. I gotta take a drink. I'm leaning out of the picture to take a drink because I look stupid drinking. Am I out of the picture? You look stupid leaning out of it, dude. So. <laughs> what what speed are you running? Sage asked how tight is the steering on his bus. It's tight. It felt good. <laughs> going left, it felt good. <laughs> I, I didn't really feel it much going straight because I, I was dodging potholes the whole time. It turned right too because I was dodging potholes. I'm sorry, what was your question? Well, this one, they didn't capitalize it, so I, you probably skipped it. What speed are you running on the interstate, and what RPM does the engine turn? Um, well, most of them are going to go about 2,100 <coughs> and go about 65 miles an hour. And um, then if you crank it up to 2,600. Yeah, mine, mine's about 2,600-ish uh, and uh, 72 miles, 74 miles an hour. So, you know, so we don't need to talk about 76 that. 76 sometimes. <laughs> Faster than what any I ever recommend anybody runs it, but it's doing just great. Do you have any more questions over there? It's easier if Kelly reads them. Now yeah, we suck just, at this. Now that it just totally flung me all the way down. We're terrible. I'm sorry. Why are there headlights out there? Oh, not my problem. Did you try reverse? We did not try reverse, Tom, because I didn't know how to put it in reverse because it's a pre-war and I didn't know how to do it. I had to call Taylor to find out. Um, and we hooked up new airlines to that air solenoid and tomorrow we should now that i've talked to taylor about how to do it um because you don't actually go into second like you do on the other one but it's somewhere in the vicinity of second on the column shifter uh and this is gonna be amusing to watch you try to hit second i hope it's gonna work if not we'll try to manually sh do it in the back with a lever but we'll see what happens i agree so we made sure that we parked it in a place where we didn't have to back up since we didn't know how to do it yet someone says i need crown royal you need crown royal don't talk about that stuff, or you won't have this. Oh yeah, I forgot. I get demonetized over that again. Um, I don't know if you answered this. How many silver sides did GM build? Pre-war, there was what, like four hundred and something? I thought between the couple. Sage knows how many pre-wars there are. You can put it in the comments. Somebody said, "People, we need to keep this chat clean." Is somebody being not nice in here? <laughs> oh, somebody. Who's that person? Hey, be nice. We're at. I didn't get to it yet, then. No, that dude is blocked from my channel. You need to not get him out of here, too. You're a moderator. Just do it. Uh, goodbye. I remember that name. Okay. He's uh, gone. I, I, I was just getting to it, and I missed what was said. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't see any of that stuff. If he's... Yeah, he's gone now, so hopefully... If you guys see anything else that we don't see, let us know, because I'm... That's the able major dude. He's gone. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, what's a good starter bus for a noob like me to get into? 4104. Yeah, 4104, 4106 are really good ones. Um, there's a lot of aluminum, not a lot of steel. They're usually pretty affordable. You can... Yeah. They're really good buses to get into. The MCIs and stuff like that, too, but they're a lot more bus. You know, the GMs are a little bit simpler. It's a lot easier to work on them, too. Yeah. 
even even a schoolie though if you want to find a schoolie if it's something that you can more modern that you want to work on that's a good kind of get into something i love the crowns because they got the most of them have that i want to know what's up with that crown by my house that's been in storage yeah I don't my know. entire life like the whole time we've lived there yeah there's a there's a crown in plainfield indiana um right off of uh 40. us 40 and ronald reagan yeah it's been in the same parking space in a storage lot for 20 years I don't know if it's been there 20 years, but it's been there 10 years for sure. I'd probably been there longer than that. I don't think it's moved. So what's that on the fence between 4104, 4106, MC7, 8, or 9? Why'd you count out an MC6? Because <laughs> they're not available very much. I'd go with, well, I don't know, actually, no, which one I'd go with there. Well, 4106 to... typically gives you more power. Um, MC7, or 8, or 9, you can't go wrong with any of those. As long as you make sure they're not rusty and there's no issues. Um, 4104, you get a rear access door, though. It makes it easier to load stuff in the bedroom. Uh, when you lay out your bedroom, that door is a pain in the butt. If you want to use it. Yeah, that's another place for water leaking and I don't know. But I like the looks of it. For me, <coughs> I like the looks of a 4104 over a 4106. And an MCI, like, 6 is my all-time favorite. Otherwise, it's probably 5. And then I probably go from 5 to 7. Uh, as my, but I like them all. I, they're they're nice looking buses. No, we did not get the furnace fixed yet. I saw someone ask that again. Yep. It's on the to do list. Nope. We're not going to need it for a while. Um, my twenty two five tires. Yeah, I have twelve hours though. The the eleven hours I gained like three miles an hour when I went to twelve hours from eleven hour twenty two five. The eleven hours are on Sage's bus. Now. They are they are on Sage's bus now. His bus is probably gonna go about sixty three to sixty five miles an hour. Um, you guys might want to take it easy and keep it down around sixty just to. I'm just following him, man. Yeah. Emissions? Pff, never heard of them. Talk about diesel emissions because most of it's a joke. I don't know if you answered this one because I haven't listened to everything you've said. Did Sage's bus feel more responsive than yours due to the lack of weight? Um, oh, yeah. It, it's a rocket. It, yeah, it was moving. Um, he's also got about probably 40 less horsepower than what I have with what he's got there. Um, but, it, yeah, it was moving around. It, it felt good. It. Um, yeah, he's probably 10,000 pounds lighter than what I am with what's in his bus right now. Someone asked for their taller gear options. Aren't the 4125s the tallest gear sets for these buses? Uh, you're really limited on the GM because that V-Drive thing. If you can't just put a regular rear end in there. And yeah, I think that is about the biggest that they make. Although there was a two-speed rear end that allegedly is out there that was in Silver Sides. Uh, some of them in, that ran, I don't know, somewhere in the mountain areas, California or something like that, they had them. Uh, but I don't know. I've never actually seen one. Um but it would be cool to have that. I thought Stan had one. He may. Stan's got one of everything. Uh, this guy said he's been watching Phil's videos. He's hilarious. Yeah, if you, Phil has his own channel. If you're not following Phil, uh, Bus Old Man Phil is his channel. Go check it out. Try and get Phil some more subscribers. I think he's almost like 500 now or something. Hey, we have over 300 people watching this. Yes. Um, I don't know where I'm at with questions. The stainless steel on the MCIs make them real easy to clean in the shiny. Yeah, that is a, definitely a, a bonus because the um, anodized aluminum that's on the GMs gets really bad over time. And the people try to polish it and you're not supposed to use an abrasive on them. And they do. And then it looks even worse. And... I don't know if you saw on Sage's bus today. We took a little bit of WD-40 to it, though. It's going to look nice when it gets cleaned up. Uh, we didn't have time to close any of the bay doors or anything that stuff. We were just trying to get it for a test drive. I didn't want to spend an hour getting it ready to take it for a drive around the parking lot. We wanted to make sure it worked. And if we needed to do something mechanically, that was more important to work on than trying to work on bay doors and closing bay doors. So it looked kind of kind of junky flying around there with the bay doors swinging open and not all the panels closed and stuff. But it wasn't about looks at that point. It was just about the mechanics of it and to see... Yeah, I, I tried a door, it didn't close. I went to the next door, it didn't close. And I just went to the ones that did, and that was it. Yeah. They, they, get, they, get, they get real sticky after a time, and um, sometimes it takes a little bit of work. So maybe even for the trip home, maybe they'll just be zip-tied shut or something like that. Don't put screws through them. We will not put screws through them and hold them shut. I hate when people do that. Like the electrical panel on his? Someone's already done that, too. 
Scott, are you running 22.5 tires to get the 70 miles an hour? I already answered that. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. That's okay. Pros and cons on flexibles. They rust. Big con. But they're cool as shit the way they Big look. Big pro. Yeah. You can deal with corrosion. almost all of the models of flexes I really like. Flexible yeah. buses are really cool. And their their engines are pretty easy to work on. They, they they left some room back there. Or the floor panels lift up a lot out of the way. Um, even Dan's bus that I work on in, in Michigan, it's got the 671 in it. That, there's a lot of really good access on that. Um, they're, they're, I like flexes. I, I, if I get a chance this year, I'm going to go to the Flex Rally in Loudonville. It's this year. If I, if I get a chance, I'm going to make it to that. Because that, that even though I have a GM, I'll go to it. They're not snobby like that. Can I go? You want to answer a question or something? No, I want to go with Loudonville. Oh, yeah. When is that? I don't know. They I do make it, my own schedule. They do it every other year on <coughs> even years, I think is what it is. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, what I was saying, uh, you you don't want a trailer convert lane into a bendy with another rear end. No. <laughs> Not going to make him a bendy bus. Uh, there were lots of V-drives in a lot of transits and stuff like that after GM got out of the market. That's why you can you can convert some of these things to modern engines because there's some Series 60s out there with V-drives. I thought it was usually Series 50s. Seri a series 50 to go into silver sides. Yeah, you have to have a little bit shorter one. Some of the, the transit buses had those. And then, uh, like, John's bus has that D-Deck 671 in it, uh, and that's out of a transit bus, too. Which, so is jeans. I was really mad. The other day, I was bidding on a, D, uh, a Pro Tools thing for scanning the D-Decks and everything that was on a Facebook group that I was on. And then all of a sudden, the guy, like, I was, like, the highest bidder on it, and then he sold it to somebody else without even telling us what the bid was. He just sold it and shipped it off, and I, I was planning on buying it. Yeah, um, he finally had an excuse to do D-Deck stuff. He bought the software for it. I was it. trying to. So if anybody's got some of that they want to sell, I'm interested. I'm looking for it. Or if you got something you want to donate, that would be even better. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that sucked. It's okay. I'm not a huge fan of that person anyway. That's okay. Um, that wasn't on eBay. That was on Facebook. They were doing bidding in the comments below it on Facebook. And then he just went ahead and sold it to somebody else because... Somebody was being a jerk in the comments and complained about the shipping on it, which it was not me. And I said the shipping price was completely fine. It's 50 bucks. And then I even, at my latest bid, I was like, okay, I bid $55 for shipping too, because I was going to pay more than what he wanted. Um, yeah, Amazon's got people like crazy. Like if someone doesn't have free shipping, they don't want to pay for it. But to ship stuff like that, it costs more than 50 bucks, especially by the time you package it up. If you take it to a UPS store, you got to drive 20 miles to a town to do it. I hate when people get snotty about stuff like that, but. I was not snotty about it. I was completely... I like, just raised the price by like 20% over what I would charge for shipping and say free shipping. Yeah, and he was up front about what the shipping price was going to be. So that was kind of bogus. Have you ever had a two-stroke run backwards on you? No. I haven't either. No, but they will run. They will do that. They absolutely will. Um, Scott, what did you do to become before becoming a traveling mechanic i have a whole video if you click right on my channel bus grease monkey uh right there is how did i become bus grease monkey and it tells you all about it which bus stuff? sorry am i driving you nuts with them? yes they're yeah. not in my mouth <laughs> he also has an interesting well now i can't see my phone at all so you'll have to read questions in. <laughs> he has an interesting uh few jobs before his prior career too i've had a lot of jobs yeah i have my pilot's license i worked at the airport for a while uh, I worked at a cemetery one summer during college, uh, digging, uh, <laughs> digging. <laughs> uh, someone just asked how Carter's Garage is doing good. He just actually put a video out today. I got to watch it when we're done here. Yeah. If you don't subscribe to Carter's Garage, I highly recommend that you do it. Yeah. Check out Chris. He's fun. He's got a turbo, uh, lawnmower he's working on. Yeah. He's, he's building that. It, it did a lap around his yard the other day, but he's got some fueling work it needs done. He needs, he's going to make it do wheelies. He used to have a lawnmower that he made that, that did wheelies. That's pretty cool. He rode my four-wheeler, now he wants to do wheelies, so he's doing it with the lawnmower because it was there, and the turbo was there. Uh, did you have a question ready? Yeah, you guys are still talking. Sorry, go ahead. Ever had anyone mess with you or the bus while you were sleeping? Um, yes, and that's part of the reason, too, I want to wire up that 360 camera system so I can have it on a security camera in the back. And while we're in the back, we can monitor what's going on. But I had a, a drunk guy peeing on my tire one night, and 
another guy, a homeless guy going through the bays of the bus. I was working on the cat bus at the time and he was going, I heard him going through the bays in the bus that was next to me in the middle of the night and nobody was staying on that bus. So I got up and then he tried to say that he was just looking for a warm place to sleep, but he, he went in multiple bays. So there's no way that's what he was really looking to do. It was also really cold outside and that bus was not warm. I yeah. had to spend way too much time in base on that thing. And then I've had people siphon the fuel out of the bus, but I wasn't in the bus when they did that. And that's why it says black tank dump on the fuel now. Yeah, that's my security system. It says black black tank dump on the fuel door. So now everybody knows the secret, but nobody's going to, if they don't know, they're not going to stick a hose down that thing and suck on it. <laughs> Go ahead. Pros and cons on a flexible. Uh, we already kind of. Yeah, we that. did that. Okay, so put your glasses back on then. <laughs> Because you're obviously jumping around with your question. I wasn't. I grabbed that one because it was in front of us. The grave digger. I have a really funny story about the grave digger thing. Um, glasses. Oh, they're off. Well, put them down. You're holding them in front of your face. Sorry. <laughs> we were. Squirt, squirt. We, we would lay plywood down on the ground all over the place so the back holes and stuff like that wouldn't um, mess up the, the grass and everything. And then when we were done digging the hole, we would lay a sheet of plywood over the hole too. And then we would walk with a trailer and pick up the plywood that was on the ground. And we just, so that it was all up. And then we, like two guys at the end would lift it. And the one guy in the, or the one guy in the middle would lift it. And the two guys in the end would pick it and lay it on the trailer. Well, the guy in the middle lifted it and stepped forward, but that was the one that covered the hole. And he fell all the way down in. Uh, it was so funny. And he starts whistling the worms crawl on the worms crawl out. It was so funny. How about uh, when you try to get into the tower at the airport? Oh my, yeah, when I worked at the airport, my friends, a controller, they, you, they don't do stuff like this anymore. This is obviously pre 9-11. Uh, we used to go hang out in the tower all the time. And uh, so I'd go, you have to buzz, you had to buzz to get in the tower. You'd buzz the thing and next thing you know, he's dropping water balloons from like, you know, what is it, 75 feet up or whatever, <laughs> dropping water balloons down on you. That was Scott Embry. He did that all the time. He, he was awesome. Uh, back to questions. I'm sorry. Uh, Tyler, what is your ideal setup for a silver side? I'm going to try to make the absolute most horsepower I can make without going turbo. Can I do a D-Deck non-turbo? Uh, I, I don't know why you would if you're going to make the power. <laughs> yeah, I probably better off say mechanical at that point. We're going to try to make a lot of power without a turbo. We'll have fun with it. Whatever you want to do. Make power. How well did the air assist steering work on the bus resurrection in Arizona? <laughs> um it was fine they, they use a lot of air so you just, you can't go crazy with them and they don't work real well and in, in, it's not it's like maybe 30 percent better than than just manual steering it's not i forgot how heavy the steering was on your bus even driving down the interstate trying to correct this thing is hard to steer yeah, okay tired. <laughs> <laughs> my bad glasses are going on so i can actually see i need like a monocle <laughs> just don't take them off I, well, then I can't see that. <laughs> Why do you need to see that? I don't know. <laughs> Look at it myself. You like to check yourself out. <laughs> oh, someone says supercharger. Well, obviously, it's got a blower on it, so that's not. I did have some ideas about that, too, but that'll come <laughs> later. Was the LP assist furnished by GM? Uh, or was that an aftermarket item? Aftermarket. Just install it yourself. It's not hard to do. It takes a couple hours. Pretty easy to set up. The propane that we have? The, yeah. The injection? Oh, yeah. We have. I have videos of that on my channel. How to install it, what to do with it. Crank the regulator until it pings and idle and back it off quarter. No, time. don't do it that much. That, that's <laughs> that's that, a lot of propane. <laughs> what other vehicles do you own? Me? I'm assuming. Yeah, you can answer it. So I have a 2004 Dodge Ram that I've owned for like 10 years. It's got pretty much everything done with it. It's going to get a drop kit soon. Got a 2011 Harley that means it with, uh, might be getting cams over the winter. I've got a 2003 Yamaha Blaster, which we bent the frame on recently and fixed. Like a couple days after I bought it, we bent the frame on it. Uh, Shop Truck's 97 Ram. Nothing too crazy. What are you doing? He's yawning and drinking. Anyway, that's it right now. <laughs> uh, another bus coming. Need more Jeeps. Probably going to get another Corvette. Jeep Wagoneer. We gotta get one of those. I want a Wagoneer. Can we put a Detroit in this Wagoneer? Can we put a six? Uh, no, a six. Nothing will fit in there, but like a <laughs> three fifty three or four fifty three will fit in one. Yeah, we can, that'd be fun to have. Although I've always wanted to do like a four forty big block in one, but I wouldn't be opposed to the Detroit. Anything's gonna be faster than the five nine that was in it. 
I love that Wagoneer that Mike had in Idaho. That one that he taught his kids to drive on. That was a really nice. So when one. we went to Camp Jeep, that year I went, there was a white Wagoneer with wood grain. It had like eight inches of leaf spring lift on one ton axles with 40 inch tires. And that was the guy that was pulling out of the mud pit. He was one of the camp counselors. It was a 440 with a uh, Tremec TKO in it. Always wanted to do that. Very cool. So white, big lift, like 40 inch tires. Probably go one ton axles. PSC Hydra steer. Maybe some four wheel steering. Detroit. You can do that. <clears throat> yeah, you put a pro charger on a bus. Why not? You, know, you gotta have a belt drive for it. Maybe we should do that. Do a pro charger instead of a turbo to feed into the blower. Be the only person on the pro charged bus. I don't really have room. Well, it's best. I suppose it's where you could mount it, but I could mount it on the back We're side of your alternator. Turbo. Let's just do the easy. Let's put the no where your alternator is. We'll put the pro charger. I'll drop the rear belt drive, and then take the alternator, move it to like a 50 dn, and do gear drive. Yeah, this can work. Does anyone have a broken pro charger that needs rebuilt? <laughs> Kelly, do you have any questions for us? Do I? <laughs> okay. Do you really want to open that box? Ma, ma, sorry, <laughs> would you like to read any questions for us? Nah, I saw someone say Jeeps are bad. I love Jeeps. I've had quite a few of them. Jeeps are the best. <laughs> I do joke, though, that if I have a question to ask Scott, that I need to ask it during this because that's the only time it's going to get answered. Yeah, I'm definitely a Mopar person as well. Lance has a Barracuda that he's been working on. We'll have to go check it out over at his house. You haven't seen it. He had two of them. Uh, the other one was a convertible, and he sold that one. Um, I think to help finance the, the other one. But it's coming along real good. He's got a lot done on it. Uh, Tyler, what engine is in the 2004? It's a 4.7 liter. Uh, it's got ported heads. Uh, it's got the second gen 47 intake on it f and b 72 millimeter throttle body jba short not JBA, gibson short tube headers high flow cats full three inch mandrel band exhaust it's tuned um k and n intake uh no four it's a not a 16 spark plug motor it's just eight um now one of the next things up is actually doing coils on it you can get forward coils but you have to put straight boots on them to go to the msd coils Everything bolt-on that can be done to a 4.7 has been done to it. The next thing up on that truck is I need to find a set of factory HO cams to send out to Crane to get regrounded to be uh, 208s. What? He's having issues. <laughs> I got issues. Every bolt-on you can to a 4.7. It's also a New Venture 3500 five-speed behind it. It's crew cab, long bed, two-wheel drive. Why are you looking speed. at me? <laughs> um, Helling sway bars. It's getting ready to get a full Beltec lowering kit put on it. It's leveled currently. It's on SRT wheels. I have a video on it. He, he's cracking himself up over here. He's laughing so hard he's crying. What the hell are you laughing at? <laughs> okay, you need to turn that camera on him. Yeah, I mean, short, it's got a short throw shifter. And a oh my God. There's a lot that's been done to my 04. I've had it for almost 10 years. I gotta go. We're not ending the live stream because you can't stop laughing. Uh, Breathe. I just saw someone say something about a Studebaker. Actually, when I was in trade school, in high school, uh, someone said 4.7s are piles of motors. Block them from my channel. I love 4.7s. Okay. Great motors if you know how to build them. Um, uh, they're, they're really not bad motors if you know what you're doing with them. If you don't know what you're doing with them, don't touch it. But if you know how to work on one and build it, they're great. Um, but no, Studebakers, when I was in school, uh, we took a Studebaker farm truck. I think it was a 2R or something like that. Three-quarter ton pickup. We shortened the frame. We put a 355 small block and a power glide in it. Speedway motors, gasser front axle kit, 9-inch in the back. It'll lift tires and run mid-10s. It was really cool. Okay. I'm back. What the hell are you even laughing at? I don't know. Don't ask it. <laughs> hey, swear jar for all. Thank you, William Oswald. <laughs> I'm okay, I'll make it. <laughs> I don't even know what you lost it over. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, back to questions. Uh. 
Okay, now that he's done with all his laughing, I'm lost. Um, someone asked, can you put a pro charger on your bus? I don't know if he answered we that. We did answer Yeah, okay. if, if someone wants to <coughs> give me a pro charger that needs rebuilt, I'll, I'll put a pro charger okay, I on I thought it. that you had <clears throat> Like an F1A or an F1X, preferably. I'll is that it. Colts game on regular TV tonight? Or is that like on cable? What night is tonight? Thursday night no football? Idea. Yeah, that's NBC, right? I don't know. I don't Thursday? know if we even get that channel here. No, I get NBC. NBC okay. comes in here. Yeah, so we can watch that game tonight, maybe. You guys can. Yeah. I got a bunch of YouTube stuff to catch up on. Yep. Yeah, don't ask me why I was laughing. I don't have no idea. <laughs> Stan said Fox. Ah, okay. Oh. I thought... I don't know. I don't watch... I guess I don't watch enough football. I don't know. But we do get Fox, too. So. I'm not the one who turns on Thursday night. Usually at home, Anthony does it. And I just happen to catch it. <clears throat> I am not sipping... S sipping any of... <laughs> Grandpa's old cough medicine. <laughs> I have not had zero anything. Two people have said Fox. It's definitely on Fox. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> How is the new Garmin and what do you like about it? Any comms? The voice on it is really annoying. It's the most monotone, boring voice I've ever heard. She f sounds annoyed even when I'm doing exactly what she tells me to do. <laughs> Your GPS is mad at you when you're following instructions. Uh, it was really hard to figure out how to put the direction, the address in. I was trying to enter the address um, here. It just took your wife to do it. it. My wife had to figure it out for me. <laughs> it's not exactly the same as it was in the other one. It's you a little bit different. You, so you press can't do it. address, and then you enter in an address like every other normal person, where you put the street numbers first, and then the street name, and then the town. That is not how it works on that thing. Because it wasn't in. Well, I didn't know how to change it to another. It didn't. The other one didn't matter what state it was in. You could just start typing it in. Otherwise, it was nice. But it it did well. It told me of things like the other one used to tell me school zones, but it would tell me when the speed limit was getting ready to drop. If it was getting ready to drop, like in a quarter mile, it would tell me that. That's nice. It never used to do that. Um, I went to hit a gas station, a gas station, a fuel station, <laughs> on the way here, and I said, "Hey, you can't do that. You're driving right now, unless you want to take it out of safe mode." So I thought that was kind of neat that. I could have her do it instead of me, you know, take your eyes off the road. That was just kind of a neat feature I thought it had. I was just trying to well, change navigation. To it was it was annoying, but it, it was it, it is a nice feature. I think that it was annoying. <laughs> okay, there's there's no way to talk about. It. I knocked my drink over. It's got a lid. It's water though, right? Or, yeah, it's water. We're fine. I swear I'm not drinking. Uh, you guys in those Harbor Freight engine hoist, one or two ton on the road? I've tried both, and the two ton is definitely better because it's got handles on it. It's easier to move. Uh, Which one do I have in my garage? You have the one ton now. Okay. But the two, the one ton takes up less space in the bus, so that, that's why I thought, oh, I'm going to love this one. And I don't really lift anything with it that is two ton, um, but the two ton is just a better one. I just saw someone ask if I experimented with nitrous on a diesel. Yes, I put connecting rods to the side of 5.9 Cummins with them before. The uh, angle and the length of the arm on the hoist, too, it does. When I went to use it on like a 4106, it wasn't the same reach that it had with oh, the, the one, one ton. ton versus the two ton, so I didn't like that as much. But yes, nitrous is fun, just you know, watch what you put in there. That's yeah, fine, it's pulling truck. Um, oh, and I'm going to turn off that propane thing on my gps somebody recommend that because it entered it said you can set that you have propane and i put that i just had one 20 pound grill tank on there um and then it sent me all the way around indianapolis instead of sending me through 70 like a hazardous thing but i don't think it's illegal to drive with a 20 pound grill tank through town so i'm turning that feature off because i don't want it to send me way out of the way where i don't know where i'm at um who heats the bus with pellet or, co or corn stove. I've seen people do it before. There's a lot of people that have that. It just takes up a lot of room. Especially a lot of people that boondock a lot and stuff like that. They have that. Um, I've seen it I've seen it in a whole bunch of buses. Uh, I don't I don't have it and I, I don't want to have that, that kind of fire and smoke and that kind of stuff. But the, the the pellets seem really cool but it's not for me. Okay my wife's asleep. Okay we're good. I think we've been an hour. Are we about ready to a couple more we can go. Okay, so we'll take a few more questions. I'm trying to find your question. Sorry. I'm reading them all where they're asking if you're okay. Yeah. Don't ask me why I was laughing. It just got me. 
been a long, long day. It's been a long week, long month, long few months. Yeah, you guys can ask questions about what it is going to be so nice to have this thing checked off, get it back to where it needs to go. Another thing done. Yeah. Scott, what's your favorite food? Thai. I think that's probably the answer for all of us. Th yeah, Thai Thai food for sure is my favorite, and I get a like a cashew nut tofu at a Thai place by us. Uh, I love it. Pad Thai oh. is good anywhere. It's very good. So usually Thai food places, you can get them to make stuff vegan for you. I don't think I've ever actually had, well, okay, one time I had bad Thai food, but that was from not a Thai place that had some on the menu. Someone, hey. Someone's saying, please tell us what name Sage wants to call his bus. You can't say that on there. No, it's going to get my live stream in trouble. It's on the end of the video. He wrote it on the box. Samuel L. Jackson would probably say the name of that bus. He, he would love the bus. He would love that bus. Welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> mother. Well, I'm going to say mother. Or yippee ki <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite Christmas movie. <laughs> um, William Oswald just did you another... What does uh, it say? Read it. No more peak cutters? Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm not really sure what he's saying either. <clears throat> uh, are you running a 12 volt fridge or a three way fridge in your bus? We have a 12 volt uh, household apartment style fridge. So it's, yeah, it's household but apartment. So it's a little bit smaller, but it's still, I don't remember how many cubic feet. It's, it's stainless steel from like home, no, Lowe's. 400 bucks 1.6 amps a very low draw um it's it's been really good we like it and yeah we just run it off the power inverter and we got 1500 amp hours of batteries and i don't uh, think that's 12 volt if you're running it off the inverter sorry did i say 12 volt yes you it's, said 12 volt. sorry it's not 12 volt it's 120 it's 120 volt ran off of the inverter from the 12 volt batteries is what i meant to say but thank you for catching that that's okay they'd have been more. trying to buy a 12 volt <laughs> fridge from Lowe's. Be all mad. It's got my one here. I know someone who got one. You definitely sell it. Uh, did you see that classic truck rescue as a 50 or 52 silver size? That's that's a 4103. I saw it. I think I saw that several months ago when he had that. But yeah, I. Uh, that's not like in Portland or somewhere out in Oregon, I think, or something. But I won't be out that way for a while. Yeah, I'm completely happy with the regular 120 fridge. It just runs off the inverter, and we don't know the difference. So and It goes a while on the inverter, too. Uh, what's your wife cooking on? Uh, mostly she uses, well, she uses all kinds of stuff. Um, induction. Her, she has an induction cooktop that she loves and uses a lot. She has an air fryer that she uses a lot. She My has Instapot. an Instapot that she uses a lot, too. Um, probably like one meal a day is cooked on one of those three things. And then, did I say the air fryer already? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we have a pizza oven too. Like we have pizzas tonight. She made regular pizza for him and I had vegan pizza. Uh, vegan cheese and that kind of stuff vegan on it. Pepperoni. Vegan pepperoni. Um, microwave and toaster. Yeah, we have a microwave but toaster. I'm going to get rid of this microwave and I'm going to get a, a convection microwave. Yeah, she wants to get rid of this microwave and get a convection microwave. What are you doing with that one? You can have it. Sweet. And what else do you have? Oh, we have a butane cooktop too if, if we need to use that. I haven't used that forever, but yeah. if I need it. But if the generator went out or something, we needed electricity, she could do it with the butane. Yeah, I eat like a king on the bus. She makes me amazing, delicious meals every day. Well, yesterday was lunchtime and we knew it was lunchtime because we could smell it outside while working. Actually, you asked me if I shit myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because she was making me cauliflower, and it smells. <laughs> it's hard he, to tell the difference. He sometimes. said the same thing though about the stir fry that had broccoli in it. Yep. So. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, I was cooking your food. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand why it's gonna smell like ass going in because it smells like it coming out. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Can't take you two anywhere. Sorry. It was good though. I ate it. All right. I think we're done. Are we done? Sure. All right. That was fun. Uh, tomorrow. We'll maybe have another video of the bus. Obviously, he's the electrical guy, so he'll do all that electrical stuff, him and Sage. 
I'll probably be working on getting the brakes going. I'm perfectly fine with that because that sounds dry. Yes. Yes, we're in jar. More money Thank for you, Nomadic Tech. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be fair, I don't think any of the words I've said in this one even come close to hitting my swear jar. So, again, make sure that you watch his video from tonight if you haven't watched it yet, and then mine too, because I think they both show different things from the bus project. But it's really nice to see that bus driving and everything. I think the, the video of it from inside the bus, I haven't seen it yet, but I was sitting in the seat while it was recorded, and I think it's going to be pretty good. It was pretty fun in there. Hey, someone, okay, someone. a couple more questions. They're asking about solar panels. Uh, I have two solar panels, and I'm gonna, I want to end up with a lot more. I want to get another, like another 1,000 watts of solar on the roof. Uh, maybe within the next year, though, that's that's kind of the plan. And they want to know if I'm ever turning wrenches with you. She does. She's really good. She, she'll torque head bolts for me and all kinds of things. She she gets in there. She'll get dirty. And she and anytime I need help, I just got to knock on the bus and she'll come right out there and help. Can you talk about oil in the rear hub and axle? No. Um, our rear hubs are grease and the axle is oil. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Not gonna do it. <laughs> what kind of alternator can output can a oh, six? I think Jacob support? was in here because Sage said night, Jacob. Oh yeah, we already said night. Everybody's still reading okay. those okay. questions now. Well, I found more, so <laughs> well, keep going. I don't care. I'm not the one falling asleep over here. Oh, man. Well, my computer's about to die, so you get a few more. Okay. What kind of alternator output can a six seventy support? Well, like, what kind of alternator can you put on here? Because well, like a 230 amps is usually kind of like a an eight. Uh, Why not just 50 12, dn? Yeah, 50 dn, <laughs> 8 dn. Like, like 8d is a battery. Yeah, uh, the alternators off the brand new Ford F150s can do like over 210 amps at idle if you wire them right. So I'd be looking for alternators off newer modern vehicles. You can make a ton of power with them compared to the size of a 50 dn. It's a quarter of the weight of that. We totally faked them out by saying good night. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just left. <laughs> They're like halfway out of the movie theater. Two hundred and ninety eight people are still watching. I got two ninety two <laughs> over here. Oh I got two ninety eight, we're good. Okay. Uh, what brand of power steering are you installing on money? Custom. Make it ourselves. Yeah, the the some of it's coming from Looks like the Freightliner FL seventy. Uh, yes. A certain year, I don't remember what year. And then um, part of it's gotta be homemade and you, we'll do a whole video on it because it's, it's a crazy setup that, that Gene's come up with. There is no just bolt-on, you can have power steering. There's no such thing for a silver sides. Everything is totally different. Um, it's it's crazy. You can't. There's, there's nothing. It's got to be made. Um, that's it. Okay. All right. We're really going to go now for real this time. All right. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Thanks.